everyone. Welcome to Frankenmuth, Michigan. This is a part two of our little trip to Michigan. So if you haven't checked out my first video of us visiting Proud Lake and going and staying in an RV for the first time, be sure to do that. It is just my previous video. But already driving into Michigan's little Bavaria, it is the cutest, most quaint little town with authentic food spots and shops to check out. Our first stop was Frankenmuth Bavarian Inn restaurant for their world famous chicken dinner or so they claim. <laughs> it's famous. This one's world famous. Oh, okay. This one says world famous chicken dinners. That one just says famous. They're famous. It's like Zenders or whatever. Zenders famous. Hmm. That's the question, isn't it? We're gonna see if they pop out of the... Oh! Perfect timing! <laughs> It says plays at noon, three, six, and four. Oh, oh we gotta come back. Too bad. Oh, you got leaf. It landed on my face. Nice. It's so big. Oh, but it's not red or Little any guys in color. The garden. I haven't tried mine yet. How is yours? It's good. Yeah? Yeah. What does it taste like? It's kind of like bread, but like a little bit like fruitcake. <laughs> Come here. I think it's got like the little fruity bits like in fruit cake, so. Yum. Soup. Chicken, gravy, bratwurst, and I gave him a drumstick. Some sauerkraut, right? That's sauerkraut. Nice. Oh no, what's this? Oh, that's like a potato salad. Oh, yum. Yeah. Don't leave Frankenmuth without it. Look how cute this, this little village in the waterfall. Zoom in on that. <laughs> Zoom in on that, he said. They've got peacocks. Oh, and you can pay for some food. <laughs> Hello. Show me your feathers. <laughs> I think they only do that when they're Too feeling cold. threatened. He's all fun. Yeah, honestly, same. I don't blame you, bud. So pretty. Is that that white one right there? Crossover. Blondes. <laughs> cherry Republic. Oh yeah. <gasps> I want some cherry balls. I feel like I'm in Disney World, honestly. Those coats look so cozy. with syrup. One of them is apple syrup and one of them is... Oh shit, I didn't even notice that. I don't want to try it any longer. I mean, I do. I definitely do, but not right now. But it's a fake tree too. Like, how... I guess it's just a pump thing. Okay, I've already tried pure maple syrup. I want it the apple maple syrup. Well, at least they're trying it. <laughs>
We just explored Frankenmuth in Michigan, and it is the cutest little German Bavarian town you ever did see. So quaint. I don't know why I look crazy with that and sunglasses. Uh, we're gonna drive down like the main strip and then stop at the world's, no, not the world's, Michigan's biggest Christmas store. And it looked crazy, like crazy Christmassy, so big. I'm very excited. That looks like the coolest indoor water park I've ever seen. Right next to the Christmas store. <laughs> Two months left. <laughs> Everything is separated into categories. So we got fruits and vegetables, icicles, memorial, snowmen, s'mores, houses, such friends, baby. Wow. Oh, oh, this is the one that your Aunt Linda gave me. Something like this. I don't think it was from here. Maybe it was from here. Wow. So pretty. Have you ever had a pickle on your No. Oh, we have, we have some pickle ornaments. Maybe, maybe my mom got it here, I don't know. I like this one, we got a I guess if you have really tall ceilings in your like mansion, you can have this one. A pink one, a blue one, a red one, a white one.
original. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. Hitchhiking ghosts and everything. You know they don't have the Florida one. That's okay. Dairy Queen, Donut Shop. Oh my gosh. It's gone. And that was it. That was Bronner's Christmas Wonderland, the world's biggest Christmas shop, and our day trip to Frankenmuth, Michigan's Little Bavaria. As you can tell, Bronner's has literally any ornament and holiday decoration you can think of. We visited in October, so they also had some fall and Thanksgiving and Halloween themed products as well. It was such a cute place to visit and got me right into the festive spirit. I can only imagine it in the winter. On our way back to Canada, we saw the biggest full moon I think I've ever seen, which was so cool and a perfect way to end the day. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.